Now I'd like to show how to connect a Wi-Fi enabled tool with the smartphone. On the screen, we can see that the thermal imager says, connect via Wi-Fi settings. To connect the thermal imager, we exit the app and go to settings. We can see here that we're looking for the Wi-Fi networks in range. I'll turn on this Fluke Connect enabled thermal imager and the thermal imager will become a local Wi-Fi network that the smartphone can connect to. After a minute or so, there it is right here, the Fluke 100 network. Now we can see that it's connected. I exit settings and go to the Connect app. We can see that the thermal imaging icon just says Thermal Imager. It changed from Connect via Wi-Fi settings to just Thermal Imager. If I connect to it, we can now see that the app is ready to capture images from the connected thermal imager. To do that, I'll capture an image and save it. And we can see that it is automatically transferred to the smartphone, where it's ready to be assigned to equipment or linked to work order or even added a note, just like other measurements. This helps preventive maintenance technicians keep records in the field and send them immediately from in front of the equipment they just imaged. I can go to History in the app, pick the thermal image I just took, select the action, then Share, and send it in email to a team member for immediate action. In this way, I don't have to take notes or even write reports. I can send off what I know immediately.